Lesson one. Jeff ate too many peanut butter and banana sandwiches, so he's going to lay down. Wrong. He's going to lie down. When using lay or lie, the distinction is easy. You lay something down, people lie down by themselves. If you need help remembering, ask yourself, can people lie as in not tell the truth? The answer, of course, is yes. Lesson two. Where are the potato chips? They're over there. And whose chips are they? These are their chips. Wrong. These are Jeff's chips. There are three types of there. There with an apostrophe means they are. There with an EI indicates possession, and there with an ERE refers to a place. Lesson three. This is the penultimate cupcake! Which means there's one more, because penultimate doesn't mean quintessential, or the best, or even the last like some people think. Rather, it means next to last. So unless you're referring to something that there's only one more of, don't use penultimate. Lesson four. If Jeff said, with who did you share the candy, an English major would punch him in the face because he should have said whom. So how do you avoid getting punched? Easy. If you can answer the question you're asking with the word him, then you use whom. Example, with whom did you share the candy? I shared it with him. Since him makes sense, we use whom. In contrast, if you can answer the question with he, then you stick with who. Example, who else ate your candy? He did. Since him doesn't make sense here, neither does whom. Bonus tip, whom and him both end with m. This makes it easy to remember the correct usage. Lesson five, Mike doesn't want to share, so he's being discreet about eating his cupcake. Wrong. He's not being discreet, he's being discreet. Discreet with a T on the end means careful, quiet, or cautious. Discreet with an E on the end means separated or detached, which is easy to remember because the two E's are separated in the word. Lesson six. Most people enjoy popsicles when it's hot out, but Jeff enjoys them irregardless of the weather. No, he doesn't. He enjoys them regardless of the weather because irregardless is not a word, so stop using it. Lesson seven. Mike is drinking expired milk. Does this affect Mike? No, it affects Mike because we're using the word as a verb. Tip, if you can swap the word affect for a different verb, then you almost always use affect with an A. Example, instead of the expired milk affected Mike, we could say the expired milk killed Mike. Sorry, Mike. In contrast, if affect can't be replaced with a verb, then you use affect with an E. Example, the milk was expired and the effect was instant death. Lesson eight. Oh good, the pizza's here. Let's eat, Mike. Oh wait, we forgot the comma. When addressing a person, use a comma before the name and after if placed in the middle of a sentence to avoid confusion. This week's video is brought to you by This Potato and also Audible.com. Audible.com is a leading provider of audiobooks with more than 150,000 downloadable titles, a few of which are about potatoes. Categories available include fiction, nonfiction, and periodicals. Audiobooks are cool because they free up your hands so you can do other stuff while you read, like driving, working out, doing chores, or peeling a potato. Right now, Audible.com is offering a free audiobook to Pleated Jeans viewers so you can try out their service. Potato and I both recommend Me Talk Pretty One Day by David Sedaris. I've read most of his books, and this one is my favorite. To download your free audiobook, go to audible.com slash pleatedjeans. That's audible.com slash pleatedjeans.